Yeah, a great team win. I really thought we came out of the gates. So offensively, we were a little slow, but defensively, I really thought we were locked in. I thought we did a great job um, on the defensive glass. Obviously, I think Bianca had nine at half, and most of them on the defensive side. But um, really happy. I mean, I thought you know that they have uh, you know the Bautista kid is uh, an all, all Atlantic Ten guard. I thought Nyla did a great job of frustrating her. Um, early, but just a, just a great team win. You know, I thought we shot the ball like we can shoot the ball, and I thought we moved the ball like we can move the ball. When we move the ball well, and we you know we we make that extra pass, we're going to make those open shots. So um, we got kids that can make shots, um, but uh, you know the 17 assists on 27 baskets was real exciting to see. And talk about Bianca's uh, game, double double for her, 19 in the first half. Just what you saw from her. Yeah, you no, know, she just I mean when, when she plays really well, we're really really good. You know what I mean? It's it's. It's, you know, and she's adjusting too. She's that top person on the other team's marker board. And, uh, um, you know, I can watch some film of her and, you know, the other team's got 10 eyes watching her every move. So when Harper makes shots, when Eva makes shots, when our shooters can make shots and we can score in transition, then it's harder just to key on Bianca. So, um, you know, she had a, a terrific game. Uh, you know, a double-double for a guard is, is absolutely fantastic. You just wish you were seeing out there today. Um, three ball serve. Um, I guess just coming in, I had the mindset of letting it come to me. I guess before in the last couple of games, I was forcing things, and like Coach was saying, there's a lot of pressure on me, and a lot of you know that the team, the other team's top defenders, typically on me. So just kind of slowing the game down in my mind, and just letting things come to me, and finding my teammates first and foremost, and then playing defense always gets me going um, on offense. Talk a little bit about playing with Harper. It's the first time you've had someone that's more of a catch shot mm -hmm. um, playing with you. Just what that adds to not only your game but with her out there as well. It was wonderful. It's <laughs> wonderful. Um, no, <laughs> always having a three-point threat um, is great. But also, like Coach was saying, you know, you can't just key in on one person on our on our team, and that's great. And you know, Harper, Emma, uh, Misha hitting threes. Um, it's just makes us more of an overall threat. Can you talk about Harper's game? I mean, 16 points off the bench. She's really thrived in that role, coming off and in double figures and all but one of the games. Position over there, what you saw. Well, you know, I, I keep saying this. I think, you know, it's tough when you haven't really played for two years. I mean, competitively, you practice and so forth, but, but games are different. And I think Harper has gotten better as each game's gone on. And I think it's going to get better as, as the season goes on, as she gets more comfortable in the groove and, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, you know, I think if I put her in a starting role, I think she would play just, you know, just as well. But, uh, um, you know, her defense and her rebounding is, 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 is coming along as well. Harper, big game for you playing against your former team. Just kind of talk about what that means to you. I saw a lot of uh, hogs when you went to the line there at the end, but just uh, your thoughts on the game. Yeah, no, it was really fun. and It was kind of surreal at first. It was a little weird. But it's like B said, she likes playing with me. I like playing with her <laughs> the first half. Like, you had 19, and I didn't really score, but it opened it up so much for me and other shooters in the second half. I think that's when I got more comfortable and dialed in. But talk about that role. I mean, you started the first four games. We've been coming off the bench and just really kind of lightened it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Like when I first heard I was going to be the sixth man, I honestly couldn't care less. Like as long as I'm contributing and helping, I don't care what I do. And honestly, I really like being the sixth man because I can be a spark offensively when I come off the bench. Freshman point guard Eva Hashim had a big game too, career high in assists, uh, double figures. She's been limited with foul trouble in the last road trip, so it's nice to see her get out there and play some quality. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, those are just typical freshman mistakes, uh, you know, getting into foul trouble and so forth. But, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for her. And, and she's really, um, we're going to need her, obviously, in CA play. But uh, she had a terrific overall game today. I thought she was uh, a lot calmer. I thought she was ready to catch shot. I thought her defense was uh, um, was pretty good. I think she was locked in in terms of what her job was. But, uh, you know, she's another with Harper that I think, you know, the, as, as we move forward, you're going to see a drastic improvement from game to game. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> and I've just told them that there's no such thing as an easy game in conference, especially starting with a road trip. Um, I personally have never won at Hofstra, so I always have that in the back of my mind. But um, just being dialed in, and honestly, the scouting report is a huge thing um, in conference play because everybody knows everybody, and um, they know our weaknesses and how to exploit them. So it's just about being focused and really being dialed in for our opponent. Yeah, exciting. Great conference. I mean, really is. Uh, night in and night out. 
it's uh, like uh, like Bianca said, it's a it's a it's a tough game with great coaches, great players, and uh, and she's right. You got to bring your A game, at least your A effort. Um, um, every day, and uh, you know, we 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 kind of practiced this a couple of weeks ago when we went up to Connecticut and played Hartford and Fairfield, and I thought we did a good job of responding, especially on the the middle day. So uh, I, I think we'll be prepared for it. We know Hofstra's got some terrific players, tough place to play, but uh, um, we're looking forward to the challenge.